What you think you are is what determines where you are going in life. This is also what determines who you attract in life and how people relate to you or call you. You are the one that determines what people call you. You cannot be defined beyond the impression you have created. This is what communicates the value you have created about yourself. Let me shock you. You can never fulfill purpose until you understand who you are in life. In John 1, 22-23, John the Baptist was asked who he is. It was not time to start calling his name, but his purpose. A lot of people go for interviews and they ask, can we meet you? And the next thing is, my name is, my name is, nobody's interested in what your name is. What can you bring to the table? How can you contribute to the position you have applied for? Is what they want to know. And that is what most employers need to know. Your purpose is what defines you. It is your purpose that determines your value in life. What you are creating. Somebody created the light. Every time you get home, you switch on the light. But that purpose, that light is why people can still remember that man. A lot of people need in this generation, but today nobody knows them. Why do you want to just pass on in this world without actually existing? What I mean by existing is the fact that you leave a mark by the time you are leaving this place. God will not create another human being just to be one of the 7.8 billion people we have around the world. God is, a, is business oriented. He has no time to waste on anyone who is yet to understand his place in this place in life. Your existence is an evidence you have a place. It is an evidence you matter in the face of eternity and humanity. God will not create you if you don't matter in life. The fact that you are living in this dispensation is because there is something out there for you to do. Most of, most of us blame our government, we blame our environment when the whole world, you know, yearns for the manifestation, for your manifestation. Romans 8 19 says, the Amplified Version says, for even the whole world, all nature, everything, including the trees in front of your house, including the desert that has nothing, wait eagerly for the children of God to be revealed. And that is you. In Matthew 16, 13 to 16, look at this, what Jesus Christ said. Look at it. So when Jesus came to the coast of Caesarea, Philippi, he asked his disciples, saying, Whom do men say I, I whom do men say that I the son of man am and they said some say that thou art john the baptist some elias other jeremiah or one of the prophet he said unto them but whom say ye that i am and Simon peter answered and said thou art the christ the son of the living god why was this question important to christ jesus needed to be sure his disciples understand who he is because he understands who he is. If you look at that verse 13, even in his question, he said, Would do men say that I am the son of man? Because he knew himself and he knew why he was living. But he needed to know if the disciples knew who he is and why they were following him. Because this is what determines how far they will go with him. And when he leaves, as he left, how far they will go with him. It, no wonder a lot of, most of his disciples were beheaded. Most of them laid down their life because they knew where they were going. They understood their purpose and they lived for it. And that's why they understand him. Jabez, in 1 Chronicles 4, 4, verse 10, also knew there was something more than just being honorable. Even though the whole world saw him as more honorable than all his brethren. So he called on God to bring to pass what he has seen about himself. Young man, who are you? Young woman, I say, who are you? Do you know this is one of the reasons people marry wrongly? Because people misjudge themselves at the point of engagement. Why? Because they judge themselves based on their current bank account. They judge themselves based on their current environment. So they just get married because they want to get married. And when things change in life, you know what happens? That woman no longer fits in. That man no longer fits in. Because now they now begin to see that no, if I was at this particular level, I wouldn't have married this man. And this alone becomes a fundamental problem that no one can solve. And before you know it, they head towards separation. Except something changes.
I pray God will heal many homes that have this problem. And sometimes you only heal, you only get healed, or you only solve the problem you know. You only solve the problem you understand. A lot of homes, families don't even know this is, a, this is where the source of the main problem is. Because they see another woman outside and say, this person can actually do better than my wife. This person speaks better than my wife. This person speaks better than my husband. Because they may judge themselves at the point of accepting to marry that man. My advice to you today, judge yourself right and your environment will judge you right. Pray this prayer. Father, open my eyes that I might know why I'm here. That I might live for you. Because when I know why I'm here, I can live for you. I can fulfill your purpose for my life. Father, I cry to you right now. Please open my eyes. Let me know why you made me. Let me know why I'm here. Let me know why I'm in this location for now. Open my eyes, Daddy. Open my mind. Open my understanding. And let me understand why you have brought me here. In this time and purpose for now. In the mighty name of Jesus. God bless you.